Hey guys, it's Mike Sorgan, Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com, Pittsburgh, PA. And now if you visit uh, Sorgatron.com, you know that I post every fr- uh, every Friday-ish, I guess we can say. I did go on vacation a couple weeks ago. But you know I post a, a, a blog over there uh, that's uh, from our newsletter. Maybe you catch me on the LinkedIn. Maybe you catch me on uh, Facebook. I've been posting these lately, too. Uh, but there was a blog post about sharing on social media. It's a state of mind right there at Sorgatron.com. And in it, I really kind of got into uh, you kind of need to be on your feet and and kind of have, you know, here's a word I should have used in the blog, uh, an intuition about social media getting your thing out there uh i talked in there about uh uh, trying to work with some of my clients uh throughout the week to become kind of agents of of this because i'm only there one a week one day a week for one case or i can't be there all the time because i do have multiple clients but there's people on the ground there experiencing what that company is doing every day right it can't be just funneled through one person whether it be uh, the head of the company, or it be, you know, the low person on the totem pole, the intern doing your Snapchats, right? It has to be a little bit of everything. But but, but the big thing is having that mindset, um, looking at something, looking at it sideways and saying, that's something that'd be interesting. That's something we need to share with our audience. That's something that that, that we need to do. And and it's really funny that I write, I write about that. And then I spent my weekend... Um, as you guys know, I do some professional wrestling production on the weekends, and I work pretty tightly with uh, the companies um, to kind of, whenever we can, coordinate what I'm doing with what they're doing, you know, uh, and, and, and some get it more than others, you know, not, you know, through experience, through whatever, and, and that's no slight against anybody. Um, but I, I definitely want to point out somebody doing it really good, and I share this all the time. I, I, you guys have seen me on Twitter saying about how uh, Dan Hooven and IWC are freaking murdering it lately. I mean, absolutely murdering it lately <laughs> on the Instagrams. And, and these are so devastating. Uh, so if, if you want to go to um, um, Instagram.com slash IWC underscore wrestling, you'll see some of that kind of stuff. And this is, uh, again, Dan Hooven, his awesome, awesome photography over there um, is the head of this. But he's been doing these graphic treatments, these kind of text layover graphic treatments. And, you know, I'm a big about quote cards and everything. And these are just very shareable things, a lot of messages. You know, there's a lot of great stories he's writing along with this stuff. And it's just absolutely devastating and really representing the company in a really cool, slick, visual style. But even from that, you know, being able to look at shots like this and find opportunities like this, you know, as sad as it was, you know, we had Rowdy... Rowdy Roddy Piper passes past week, and you see R.I.P. Roddy is up on here. Immediate, we were like, we should probably go ahead and just post for free the Piper's Pit from a few years ago. We had him in 2012 uh, for for uh, Night of the Superstars up in Meville, PA. So just kind of connecting that and let people have that conversation around that content. And yes, it is something that, okay, and we are bringing the conversation to IWC and, 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 and a part of that, but but non-selfishly, we have that community already there. They're going to be talking about this. So let's give them that jumping off point for that. Uh, but even stuff over the last few days, you know, see, seeing opportunities on, on social media, uh, I don't know how many times, again, the, the, I call it the brain trust that's talking. Uh, I get to uh, view a lot of that here with IWC. And seeing the gelling that's happening is, is just absolutely amazing these days. Uh, you, you just, jeez, I can't even explain it. <laughs> just seeing that, um, um, you know, something's happened on TV. There's a response on Raw. Uh, you know, over 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 the year, uh, how many people came in for like the big night of the superstars, and then that became um, that became that became. A jumping off point for saying, hey, by the way, Kevin Nash just announced for Hall of Famer. See him in Meadville on April. I, I mean, it, there's just some really good luck, but there's also seeing those opportunities. Again, that's what I'm talking about. That Turn your head sideways and be like, we got to do a thing about that. You know, we need to react to this. And and I think, you know, when you look at pro wrestling, it's like, oh, that's really easy to do. You got all these people. You got this, these, this great... Uh, a roster of stars that used to be there that you've worked with or 
or on on this. There's a lot of groundwork that's there, but still, even down to I'm a person that's making a thing on Etsy, right? I'm a person that's making video game necklaces on Etsy. You should be reacting and spinning everything video game that's interesting you and being part of that conversation. You know, you should be doing the behind the scenes of here's here's what stuff looks like before I'm making it, and here's the process, and here's a little video about this. You know, again, just looking at sideways, be like, what are, what are my people going to be interested in? They're going to be interested like the audience I already have, the audience that's going to come across me, that's going to get deeper interested in what's going on here. Again, wrestling. You say maybe wrestling's harder, maybe wrestling's easier because you have content, and you have storylines. Hopefully, if you're doing a wrestling promotion, you have great stories that you're able to tell. You know, you have great wrestlers and great characters that you can work with. I mean, just looking at the the menagerie of people that work with here, you got you got a lot of material, and you have very very smart people um, kind of working around them and making them bigger than life, which is exactly what pro wrestling is is about. Social media is storytelling, and if you can't tell a story on social media with professional wrestling, you're not much of a storyteller. So, some stuff for consideration there. Uh, uh, kind of bringing that around, you know, and there's also persistence, right? There's There needs to be even as mundane it is. Maybe, maybe you're, you're in, a, in a business where you're like, I can't really see what's interesting from day to day here. Okay, what interests you? And being able to kind of stretch that out, make something of nothing. And and you would be surprised that mundane fact about, well, every day we go out and water the flowers out front uh, or something like that. But one day, take your, take your phone, do an Instagram video, do a Twitter video, and that's an opportunity. Even it has nothing to do with your business. Even if you're a dental office, even if you're something else, be like, hey, this is a little bit we're doing to make this beautiful around here, right? And that's a story about maybe you're the person that takes care of those flowers and make sure they do grow. So those are, even if it's just a pot of flowers, uh, you know, there's a story there, you know. And and people see that you as part of the staff is taking care of that and that beauty, you know. That shows the kind of person that they're going to come into the door and see first. So where's your story? Where's your story on that? I, uh... uh you know, finding opportunities to create, you know, are always interesting. I, I, I know there was a, a comment that, that stuck with me because, and I realized what I was doing when I was in San Francisco because uh, uh, I had this little robot guy and I was, I just had this idea. I was like, I want to film this robot guy walking through San Francisco. So everywhere I go, you know, I'm enjoying the space. I'm enjoying being there, but I'm also looking at it. Sideways. I know I'm doing it. I know I'm doing it. I'm kind of looking. I, I always say you kind of look, uh, look at something in a different angle. And I literally look at it sideways and be like, that would be a cool thing. You know, and imagine that happening. And and you need to do that with your content. Again, maybe this sounds ethereal. Maybe this sounds above your head. Maybe this sounds like something you can't really gel with. And it's going to be practice, you know. Um, as I say in there, look, taking the point of... Of, of saying, I'm going to post one thing. It's going to be hard for you to find that one thing for a bit. But it's also hard for you to hold a tree pose in yoga until you do it every day. And then it's easy. And then you figure out that next thing. Maybe you just do a tweet. Beautiful, a beautiful, some beautiful words. A picture of something. And you move up to, let's do, let's do a little bit of a Twitter video. Yeah, maybe we'll play with Snapchat. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do the other thing. But you start with the small thing. You start with the downward dog until you get done, done with that. That downward dog is, is your twit pick for the day. And move on from there. I hope this helps you kind of get in that mindset. Very zen-like. Social media zen. That should be something. I'm going to coin that. Don't, nobody take that from me. I'm sure somebody already has. Uh, let me know what you think about that mindset. What gets you going? What, um, how, how do you find the story in social media to tell around whatever it is you're promoting? Let me know, Sorgatron, on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com, and please sign up for that newsletter. And uh, let me know what you think. I actually was pretty amazed at some of the response I've gotten this week from, from this one. Uh, so, uh, let me know that I'm on the right track with something is nice too. Give me some feedback. I love it. I love it. Um, and, and, and show me the thing you're doing. If you're like, this is how we 
found a story here out of nothing. Um, I'm really interested to hear your your stories. Uh, Sorgatron.com, basic sorgonomics. Hi, Dan Hooven. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.